G'day. Um, one of the biggest issues facing a lot of people, and, and I struggle with it too, is sometimes just being able to differentiate between feedback and criticism, and then further who we take that criticism from, right? And, and how much we, how much weight we give that in our life. Firstly, I think that feedback is a gift. Um, I, I don't always like getting it. I don't always appreciate it. I don't always agree with it. But if it's delivered in the right way, and if it's delivered from somebody who is on my list to be able to give me that feedback, then I'm definitely listening to it. I definitely want to learn from it. I definitely want to use it to, to propel myself forward towards being the best version of myself. But if it's just blatant criticism without any constructive means, without any positivity, without any reason to do that, um, without them having you in their mind or, or the best version of you in their mind, then I'd be really careful about who I listen to and who I take feedback or criticism from. And often, <laughs> in my case at least, I, the feedback or the criticism that comes from the people who aren't on my list are, is the, are the ones that sort of stay in my head and circulate and ruminate. If, if somebody isn't doing what I'm doing, if somebody isn't taking the risks that I take, if somebody isn't leading with their heart as I might, if someone doesn't have my best interest in their mind or in their heart, I, I'm just not listening to them. They just don't get a chance. They just don't get a vote. They don't get an opportunity to have a crack at me or to tell me what they think. I, I, I honestly, I don't care. But if there's somebody on my list, somebody I respect or, or want to listen from, I listen to, absolutely, I'll listen to it.